Shanks Group PLC has today agreed to sell a majority of its UK solid waste business to Biffa. I'm joined by Shanks Group Chief Executive Peter Dillnot to discuss the transaction and what it means for Shanks Group going forward. Hello. Exactly what has been announced today? Well, Shanks Group has a clear and stated strategy to focus on markets where we have competitive advantage and we can generate attractive returns. And what we're announcing today with our exit from the UK solid waste market is where that isn't the case and our operations are currently subscale and loss making. This move will generate cash, will increase our profits and will enable us to focus on those parts of our group where we can deliver growth. Peter, can you explain exactly what's been announced today? Well, the majority of our UK solid waste business is being sold to Biffa, who are the market leader in this segment, and who have the scale and national coverage to be able to grow that business going forwards. We've announced the deal signed today, and it should close in December. Separately from that, we've also announced that we will be closing and selling our materials recycling facilities in Kettering and also in Block N in Glasgow. As a result of those things, we will be able to reduce our central overheads and our central costs, and essentially it represents therefore a clean break from the UK solid waste market and a refocusing of our UK activities where we're advantaged and we can grow in municipal and in organics. Is this the best time to sell this business? Well, we've worked very hard at improving the performance of our UK solid waste business, and indeed we have, uh, despite some very tough market headwinds. However, we've taken a decisive step to exit this market by selling uh, the majority of the assets to a market leader who will get more value from the business going forwards. Now, the net impact of everything we're doing and announcing today is that we will have a cash inflow of 14 million and we will use those proceeds to reinvest in our growth divisions. We will improve our profits by 3 million uh, on an annualised basis or a 7% uplift versus last year. And again, we will be able to refocus our efforts and management and resources where we can grow profitably going forwards. So what is left in the UK? Well, our UK business, uh, as a result of this streamlining, if you like, um, is very focused and a clear market leader where it plays, and that's in UK municipal and in organics. The municipal part of our business, where we serve a number of uh, councils and authorities and have done over many years, um, has a good reputation for operational performance and also has been very successful uh, of late. We operate over 70 sites uh, in the UK, uh, and uh, we are the, the market leader in mechanical and biological treatment. And furthermore, we're also investing £200 million funded through non-recourse debt on building out infrastructure that can sustainably treat waste for municipal clients going forwards. So, going forwards, what does this mean for the group? We have four divisions, each of which have a very clear path towards profitable growth. Our solid waste division is now focused in the Benelux region where we are a clear market leader and we have traction in terms of improving the profits there. The hazardous waste division has differentiated technology, operational scale and commercial coverage and we're reinforcing that with investing for capacity to grow it going forwards. The organics business, we're a clear market leader in the Netherlands which is an established market and we're using that experience and that technology to grow our business internationally. And the UK municipal business we've already talked about as being an important profit growth lever for us uh, in the future. So I think the move that we have announced today has just simply reinforced our platform for growth. Shanks Group Chief Executive Peter Dillnott, thanks for joining me. Thank you.